I'm most ashamed about how violent I get, the things that I've done because of meth. I had been up for way too many days, and I thought that I saw somebody that owed me money. I was a total stranger, and I hit him in the head with a tire iron. My name is Oriah. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Bonner, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 12. I remember I came in the house, and none of my family knew that I used meth. And uh, I was high, and I remember jumping down onto the couch, and I hit my head. And uh, my mother and my brother were laughing at me, and I just lost it. I uh, actually hit her. You just you can't take something like that back. You know, I think my mom's forgiven me, but uh, I don't think I'll ever forgive myself. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. Well, like, I was chewing gum, and there was little pieces of something in my gum, and I took it out, and it was my tooth. It just, like, crumbled. And so my back teeth are gone because they just crumbled into bits and pieces. My name is Haley. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Great Falls, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 15. My hair was falling out in huge clumps, and my eyelashes were falling out, and I had sores all over my face. My biggest regret is the fact that I started a lot of people on meth. Like, how could I do that to somebody? Like, start them on an addiction, and they're going to have to go through all of the stuff that I have to go through. And it makes me really sad. Like, people don't wake up and say, I think I'm going to be a meth addict today. They try it just once, and they think it's all going to be fine, but there's no, like, 80-year-old meth addicts. They all die. Like, you end up dying or in jail. You make nothing of your life, and that's a fact. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. Meth has affected my life because I had, like, a really close friend, and, like, I kind of got her into it. One day, I was like, here, let's do meth together. She's like, I don't know, and I was like, come on, just do it, just one time. I tell myself, I was like, she's gonna do it more, but don't tell her that. My name is Bernadette, I am 15 years old, and I'm from Butte, Montana. And then it just got in the habit with her, and like, we just kept doing it, like, with each other all the time. Well, one day, like, I just needed it really bad, and she was coming down, and I wouldn't give it to her. And then, like, two days later, her boyfriend told me she shot herself. It, I just, like, it puts all the guilt on me because it's like I'm the one who showed her it, and, like, that has a big effect on me, and I don't think I'll ever let it go. I lost my best friend. If I probably never introduced her to it, then she would still be here and we would still have that loving relationship we had. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I remember um, one time I was sitting at my friend's house, and we'd been smoking for about four days straight, and I stood up and I blacked out. I don't really remember, but they told me that my heart started beating really, really fast and stuff, and I was like throwing up blood. My name is Kara, I'm 15 years old. I'm from Missoula, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 11. My really good friend was like, check my heart, and he was freaking out because it scared him. And he's like, I thought you were gonna die because your heart stopped twice. And they never took me to the hospital. <laughs> and. I feel bad because my mom doesn't know. And it just, I think, what if I did die? If I did die, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't get this second chance. I wouldn't get to turn things around. I wouldn't make it to my 16th birthday. And I regret it a lot. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. When I was on meth, I, uh, I swear there was like, little crawling things in my skin and it was so real and I cut it cut my skin open and I looked under and there was nothing there of course except you know just <laughs> blood gushing out and it was really scary. My name is Ashley. I am 17 years old. I'm from Butte, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 13. Meth like stained my teeth. Gosh, my face was just horrible, like it was scarring acne. It came out through my face. It came out through my legs. Like it looked like I had like some like disease. Like it was it was sick. When I was on it, I, I mean, I thought I thought I looked pretty, and like I looked pretty. But like when I stopped using, it all just come out through my body, and it was just sick, really sick. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. 
See, I stole this person's motorcycle and I ran it up as fast as it would go and I ran it into a tree. I was hoping I was gonna die there for a while, you know. Hi, my name is Tim. I'm from St. Regis, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 19. You know, I, I tried it and everything that I owned was gone within a month. I lost where I lived, I lost where I worked. Just within a month, it's just like that. And I've never seen it come out good for anybody. But I did some, some things that, um, you know, only, you know, God can forgive me for. I, I used to be able to remember, and I used, you know, I mean, I'm still, it is so scary having, like, months of your life, like, gone from your brain. There's really no reason to sign your life away like that. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. After you've been using for you know three days, you actually start to go um, psycho. <laughs> you see things that aren't there. You hear things that aren't aren't really there. It's really scary. And I've seen faces on people that I mean that's not their face, but I'm seeing somebody else. It's it's really freaky. My name is Rochelle. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Great Falls, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 16. I had no self-respect when I was using meth. I put it before everything, my own dignity. I had a lot of people that loved me try to reach out to me and I just didn't see it. I was so hooked. That everything changed um, right after I started using it. It just, it was, it was a snowball effect. It was easy for me to let everything go. And even when I knew that I was losing everything and everything was gonna go away, I, I knew that I still wanted to get high. That was the one thing I knew. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I lost my girlfriend. Um, me and her did a bunch of meth, and we got into a big argument, and she got in a car with a bunch of other meth users. And I called her on the phone, and we were screaming, yelling at each other, and all I remember is she screamed, watch out, and the cell phone died. My name is Dean. I am 17 years old. I am from Bonner, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 14. And I know they slammed into a telephone pole and she went through and hit the other kid in the back of the head with her nose and it killed her. When I look back at it, I mean, it's, I think of it as my fault because I got her hooked on the drug. I got her hooked on the life. I'm really ashamed of that. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. When I started getting on it, I'd sit in the mirror and like pick and pick and pick and pick at my face. My back teeth, they, they were really worn down. My gums were getting all brown and ugly and gross. My hair was falling out, like really, like I had big bags. I Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Browning, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 12. I never thought that it, you know, I thought it was gonna be a one-time thing. I didn't ever think that it was gonna get me by the throat and strangle me until I was, you know, stomped into the ground. It was, it gets you pretty fast. I started stealing from my parents and like stealing money. It came to the point where I was selling myself for meth. That was the lowest that I've ever gotten. I'd just give anything for it. That's what I did. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. We call them the shadow people. And the shadows play tricks on your eyes. And like, I would always think somebody was gonna kill me and I, I would just be like waiting and, and I'd like have a knife on me or something. And, but it's just like an overwhelming premonition that something really bad is gonna happen, but you don't know what it is or who's gonna do it. I'm Trina, I'm from Missoula, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 16. Like I almost got strangled in a motel room because I was getting high with this guy that I didn't know and um, he almost strangled me. I believe that meth is the devil's drug. It's very evil and it's very powerful and you don't know what you're getting into. You have no idea. I have scars and pock marks on my face because I would pick at my face. There isn't just once. With meth, it's, um, it'll steal your life away. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I was on a lunch break one day, 
in the back of somebody's car. And this girl goes, hey, have you ever done this stuff? And um, there we go, I did it. And fr I mean, that started it, that was it. From then on, I had a problem. Hi, my name's Caitlin, I'm from Missoula, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 15. The kind of people I was interacting with was just disgusting, and I was pretty much at these people's beck and call. Scariest thing that I can remember, being in my bedroom, sitting on my bed, just done a ton of meth, and I felt like if I even moved an inch, I might have a heart attack because my heart was beating so fast, my heart hurt. I did it uh, straight for nine months, and that nine months took me down. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I was with a friend and she'd been taught, she started tweaking and so I decided I'd start tweaking because we'd been good friends for a long time and she'd always say how good it was and she knew she needed to stop but she just liked it and it was going to be her last time and I was going to do it with her and we'd never do it again. Hi, my name's Kelly. I'm from Victor, Montana and I started doing meth when I was 16. And I had to go to the hospital twice because I overdosed because I was having seizures because of the drugs I took. I've had a lot of friends that messed up their lives. And it changes your whole personality. I can't be around it. I know if I do it anymore, I'm just gonna go back to jail. And I wanna have my life back. I want my mom to be able to trust me. I wanna fix things. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. A lot of times I wanted to quit. Like after my best friend died, or when my girlfriend died, or after I got locked up a few times. One of the main ones that really wanted me to quit was after my girlfriend died. My name is Mike. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Folsom, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 14. The scariest thing about meth would be the drug itself. I'd go into a place that's making it, I'm just thinking, I'm smoking that. I don't know, it's not a pretty thing to see. The first time I seen it, how it was made, I thought I wasn't gonna do it again. But then when I left it, the stuff that I bought, I went and smoked it. If you've seen the places I've seen because of it, like abandoned meth houses and everything that little kids lived in, you wouldn't want to think of it. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I went to a party one night. We were all snorting lines, and this guy came up behind me, and he like said, hey, let's go back here. I know what we can do. And he grabbed me, and I was already high, and I got raped. My name is Jen. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Butte, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 11 years old. I kept saying no, and he wouldn't stop. And I just kind of cried afterwards, and he gave me an eight ball, and I just said, OK. That was worth it, and then that's when I started selling my body for meth. I know a lot of my friends said, you're gonna get addicted really bad and real quick, and I just kept saying, no, I'm not addicted, and it kind of just turned out that I wanted it every day, and I did really stupid things. I sold myself, and I stole from people, and I cheated people. I don't know anyone who's quit using meth after they've tried it a couple times or just once. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. When I was 14, I moved in with my drug dealer. I was kicked out from my mom's house. She didn't want to put up with me. My name is Andy. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Livingston, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 12. The longest time I was awake was 32 days. I was blacking out pretty much because I'd been up so long and was so high. And a week later, I was sitting in a detention facility in Las Vegas, coming down, withdrawing, not knowing how I got here, what happened, and was completely just gone. I was violent. I was robbing people. I cared more about doing meth than I did people that cared about me. I think it took a number of years off of how long I'll stay alive. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. 
I went to the eye doctor. He told me that he's surprised that I can see because I have holes in my corneas because of my meth use. My name is Nikki, and I'm 17 years old. I'm from Billings, Montana, and I started using meth when I was 16. I can honestly say right now that I was addicted the first time I used it. I mean, I denied it forever. I realized I had a problem when I first went to jail. I realized I had a problem when the people around me stopped wanting to be with me because I was so high all the time. But with meth, it's like, just you want to be angry. You want to be mad because everybody around you is so happy and you're so unable to feel that feeling. I'm ashamed of the, almost everything that I did when I was high. It's the beginning of the end of your life just because it's, it's gonna ruin everything. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. When I was using, my biggest dream was to die, you know, from like an overdose or to be high or something. Cause then I know, you know, I was dying, feeling really good. My name is Julie, I'm 15 years old. I'm from Missoula, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 14. I've already been locked up for six months and I got about four more to go. <sighs> my life was a mess. It was a huge, huge mess. I had a cavity in almost every tooth. My bones are a lot weaker. Got little scabs on my skin from using. My body didn't have energy to do anything, but my mind kept on going so I couldn't sleep. I no longer, you know, cared about anything. I didn't even care about myself. If a person doesn't have that much power over me, how can a substance? I've been thinking about it like the last couple of weeks and haven't found an answer, but Trying. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I'd just go sit there all day and people would come in, buy meth. They'd just smoke some with us. They'd leave, more people would come in, smoke some with us just all day, all week. Just people coming in. And if they have a kid, people go shoot up in the bathroom. My name is Jake. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Hamilton, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 14. Someone close to me was gonna try meth, I'd probably, uh, I'd just, I'd try and tell them what I've been through. I'd try and tell them how people, they die from it, how it just rots away your body. The scariest thing about meth, how it controls people, just everybody. Like the people I was with, they had a kid, and they're, they're sitting there smoking meth around their kid all day. I mean, what do you think that kid's gonna grow to be like? I wanna live to be old. I, don't, I can't do that with meth. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. The low when you're coming down off of meth is like you just want to die. I mean, it's worse than being like burnt to death. My name is Christina. I'm from Shoto, Montana. I'm 18 years old, and I started doing meth when I was 17. I was homeless. I was stealing from everybody that I knew that I loved. I lost my fiance. I lost a lot of my friends. I lost a lot of respect that people had for me. The first time I was definitely addicted to meth. Because after that, you know, that's all I wanted to do was get high. You think it's only going to be once, and it's not going to be. I mean, that's a huge myth. There's no way. I don't care what anybody says. If they've done it, they've done it more than once. It's probably the worst idea you could ever have. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. To get meth, I beat up my friend for her money, and I left her out on the back roads, and I went and used. Um, she had a couple broken ribs, and she had a skull fracture. But I feel more ashamed that I would do something to my friend who's always there for me because of meth, just knowing that I could hurt. My name is Georgia. I'm from Hamilton, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 13. I used it every chance I got. Every time I got money, I went and bought it. I would lie to my grandparents to get the money. I would steal from my family, my friends. I would steal things and I'll go sell them for more meth. Uh, the first time I used meth, it was I was with my sisters. When they offered it to me, I didn't. I didn't think of it. Like I didn't think that it was gonna change my life. I just took it because I thought it was just a high. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. 
I was living on the street. I slept under bridges and I stole things from people. I was dirty, but I did it all to get meth. I was addicted. You know, I, I, I shake really bad still. I'll go to write and my, my hand will start to shake. And my chest will just shake. Been going on. My name is Fred. I'm from Sydney, Montana. And I started doing meth when I was 13. Paycheck my whole life. And uh, the thing I was most ashamed about when I was using meth was uh, stealing from my dad. Uh, I stole his ATM card. He worked really hard to give me everything I wanted. And me stealing his money resulted in not having food to eat and not being able to pay rent because of meth. If you want to find out what it's like to not have anything in your life, do meth. Because that's what happens. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. The feeling like you want to crawl out of your skin, like your legs, like you're like shaky and sweaty and it's sweating out of you and you just, it's like you want to freak out. And it's like coming out of your pores and everything, so I mean your hair's all nasty, you're just gross. And after a while you just start to look like a bag of bones pretty much. It's, I mean it's all just... My name is Jaden, I'm from Butte, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 15. It's like look at myself and see, and I mean in the beginning I still thought I looked good. And then like starting to look back and like I see girls around here or girls that are still doing it, I'm like wow. I look like that once. It's gross, but I mean, after a while I saw it, I knew I was horribly skinny. It's a horrible feeling. It just ruins everything. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. I was up for like three days using meth and uh talking to people that weren't there and just being really delirious. I thought there was people hiding outside of my mom's house. I thought that people were gonna get me. It was just really scary. There were days I couldn't go to school. My name is Monique. I'm from Billings, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 13. My life was never the same again. Before I started using, I, I had a conscience. I had values and compassion. After I tried meth, one by one, all my morals went down the drain. I didn't have any self-respect. I would lie, cheat, steal, whatever I had to do to get high, didn't matter. I started prostituting to get meth. I was selling my body, whatever, just so I can get high. The drug was so powerful. I had heard of meth, but I had no idea what it would do to me. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. I think I was up for like four or five weeks and I would black out and somebody, I'd wake up in somebody's yard or I'd wake up behind the truck or something. And first thing in my mind was not, what was I doing? How did I end up here? It's worse than more meth. It destroyed my life, it destroyed everything for me. Pure chaos. I didn't even like myself. I didn't. My name is James. I'm from Miles City, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 17. Uh, it just makes you think everybody's out to get you. Anything that you think uh, becomes a reality. So if you think there's 80 people outside watching you, there's 80 people outside watching you. And I just hated the fact that I couldn't separate reality from, you know, fiction. It just, I couldn't, do, I couldn't stop it. When I finally realized that I needed to quit, I weighed 97 pounds. I wish I would have never touched that stuff. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. One time I was uh, in a house and we were using meth and uh, we put the lady's children in the room and we continuously got high for two days and forgot about her children. And um, when we remembered they had passed out and were lying on the floor, we ended up taking them. My name is Mark. I'm from Great Falls, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 15. Would be scarred for life. It makes me feel worthless to know that I've ruined lives. The lowest point in my life was stealing, robbing, just to get high on meth. When I was living under a tree, homeless, no money, nobody there for me. Everybody, family, friends, they just, they didn't want anything to do with me because of uh, what I was willing to do to get high. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. 
I just kept doing it. Like that's all I ate for food was meth, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And my face was sucked in and my eyes had bags. It was pretty disgusting. At the time I thought I looked good. I looked in the My name is Jocelyn. I'm from Lewistown, Montana. Everything at the time. The first time I tried meth was about 14 years old. I just hooked me immediately. Still to this day, you know, I still have those urges, but I just think about all the stuff that I went through. I've actually been sexually abused while I was on the meth. I got a bad batch and I just passed out and woke up without some clothes on and the person getting off. It was, that was when it was my breaking point. And the question I ask myself all the time is why did I do meth at all? I hate it. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. The thing I regret most about meth, I've slept with some guy for money. I hate to admit it. I wish I could erase that part of my life. And then I just end up My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Polson, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 16. Too wrapped up in the drugs. First time I used meth, I smoked a lot to where I got sick. I told myself I was never gonna do it again. And I didn't for a couple weeks and then it was offered to me again. The outcome's never different. It's always the same. It tears apart families. I mean, it tears apart your appearance, your looks, friendships, everything, until you have nothing left but meth. I just, I don't want other people going through what I did. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. I just regret that I took that first hit because after I tried ice, I started using every day within like two weeks. My name is Kaleo, I'm 16 years old. I'm from Waianae. I started doing meth when I was 12 years old. Since then, I went through a lot of stuff. I would sleep on the streets and run away from home a lot. I would steal from drug dealers to get the drugs and it was really scary because I would take a lot of money and I never really knew what they were gonna do to me. I tried to get other people to use so that I could get money from them. I wish I could take back all the pain I caused. If I knew all this stuff was gonna happen before I used, I would have never started using. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. I think my lowest point when I started using meth was actually getting sexually abused. My name is Anthony. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Emmett, Idaho. I started doing meth when I was 12. I was on the run for four months. I went to this house and I was staying there and all I remember is I just got done getting high and I went I went into the, the bedroom. This guy started physically abusing me. And he sexually abused me from there, and I just felt sick and dirty. And you know, why did I put myself in that situation? I blamed myself. I actually had a thought of killing myself. It's ruined a lot of lives. That's kind of a thing people need to start realizing is with methamphetamine. You know, you're killing somebody else's family, and you're killing your family, and you're killing yourself. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. We stole from our parents. My mom's like, did you spend the rent money? And I was like, what you mean? She's like, that was for my rent. And freaking, she started crying. And I just held it all in. Like, it was nothing. I, mean, I used to care about my family, and then and I started using ice. My name is Lucius. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Lanikai, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 12 years old. My mom used to cut open her pillow and put her wallet inside and sleep on the pillow. So hard for her to trust us. Every time we come home, we'd have to sleep downstairs. Or when we're not home, she'd have to lock the doors and the windows. Not for burglars or nothing, from us. When we were young, we'd get I love you from our parents like nothing. You say I love you to my mom, and she just nod her head and let us go. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. 
I'm most ashamed about how violent I get, the things that I've done because of meth. I had been up for way too many days, and I thought that I saw somebody that owed me money. I was a total stranger, and I hit him in the head with a tire iron. My name is Oriah. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Bonner, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 12. I remember I came in the house, and none of my family knew that I used meth. And uh, I was high, and I remember jumping down onto the couch, and I hit my head. And uh, my mother and my brother were laughing at me, and I just lost it. I uh, actually hit her. You just you can't take something like that back. You know, I think my mom's forgiven me, but uh, I don't think I'll ever forgive myself. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. My addiction forced me to do things that I wouldn't even be capable of if I wasn't doing meth. My name is Justin. I am 18 years old. I'm from Salmon, Idaho. I started doing meth when I was 15. I ended up smoking a bunch of meth with one of my friends who did it. Ended up getting to argument with my friend and uh, I had my gun in my hands and uh, swinging around like a maniac. Gun ended up going off and killing my best friend. I ended up getting really paranoid thinking that if I told anybody that I'd just go to prison. So uh, I ended up went and buried this guy. I don't know, I think back on it and doing meth pushed me into doing that. And uh, I'd say, I'd say that's evil in its purest form. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. My best friend, her and I did everything together. She was not at my house, I was at hers. And you know, misery loves company. So I got her hooked on meth. It made me feel better to have her a part of it. My name is Brooke. I'm from Marietta, Georgia, and I started doing meth when I was 15. She was using with a group of friends that we had used with before, and she overdosed and fell to the floor, and no one cared to check on her. No one cared. They just left her there. Um, she had passed away. It goes from you using, messing up your life, to you messing up your friends. It's one of those drugs that seriously attacks everyone in its path, regardless of if they're using. It was a snowball effect. If I'm an active user and I, everyone I come into contact with is going to have an effect of the meth. Brought to you by the Georgia Meth Project. The first time I did meth, I was with my best friend and his mom. I had no idea what it was gonna actually end up doing to my life. My name is Russell, I'm 19 years old. I started doing meth when I was 14. I've started at least three people that I know on meth, and where they're at right now, um, they're probably either in jail or I know one's dead. I went from a pretty good student to a dropout. I've ruined relationships. I've stolen from people. My family, I physically abused them. I mean, the list just goes on. I've wasted a lot of time. I've, I've gone from a person who had enormous potential to a person that had absolutely no potential because I chose to, to pick a little white rock over, over everything else. Brought to you by The Meth Project. The one thing I regret the most is beating my mom up in front of my brother because just to see the sadness in his eyes. He used to say things to me, he's like, I look up to you and then him seeing me beat my mom up just like really hurt me because it's like he looked up to me and look at what I did in front of him. What kind of a role model would do that in front of their brother? That's the one thing I regret the most is beating my mom up. My name is Bernadette, I am 15 years old and I'm from Butte, Montana. It makes me feel bad because I treated my family like dirt. I didn't care about them. Nobody else mattered. And I used to get violent when I was on meth, especially when I was coming down. I would hurt my family. I'd steal from them. I'd lie to them. I think they're out to get me or they're out to get my drugs. All that mattered was me and my drug in any way I could get it. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project.
when you're on meth. Some people like to pick at their face, so other people like to pick at their arms. Uh, I ripped off one of my toenails once because I was, I thought that somebody had implanted a chip in there. So I got a pair of needle nose pliers and I jammed it under there and ripped it off. My name is Ryan, I'm 17 years old. I'm from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I started doing meth when I was 12. I'd smoke some meth and then I just feel like there's something in there you have to get at, you know, and you can't get it out. It is madness, it's insanity. Logically, you know there's nothing in there, but you can't really distinguish the fantasy from reality. So you'll sit there and pick at it and dig at it and try to get at it. And sometimes it feels like it's moving and you're trying to chase it around. And sometimes it feels like it's burrowing deeper. I don't know, I can't even describe how much I hate meth. I wish it was never even invented. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. The first time I tried meth was with somebody that I didn't even know and I just met that day. They were doing lines and they asked me if I wanted to try it and I did and um, I think I got addicted right away. My name is Danielle, I'm 16 years old. I started doing meth when I was 13. For a while I was living on the streets because I had no place to go. I slept in like unlocked cars that nobody used and stuff like that. Like there were a couple nights where I just sat there and like cried because I didn't know what was going to happen next and I didn't know if I was going to like be there the next day or if it was just a dream and I was just going to wake up. I always think about how stupid I was or like if I never would have done meth, this never would have happened. I did something that I can never take back. I'll never be the same person or think the same way or be as smart as I was before I did it my life. It's totally upside down even now. Brought to you by The Meth Project. After you've been using for you know three days, you actually start to go um, psycho. <laughs> you see things that aren't there. You hear things that aren't, aren't really there. It's really scary. And I've seen faces on people that, I mean, that's not their face, but I'm seeing somebody else. It's, it's really freaky. My name is Rochelle. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Great Falls, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 16. I had no self-respect when I was using meth. I put it before everything, my own dignity. I had a lot of people that loved me try to reach out to me and I just didn't see it. I was so hooked. Everything changed um, right after I started using it. It just, it was, it was a snowball effect. It was easy for me to let everything go. And even when I knew that I was losing everything and everything was gonna go away, I, I knew that I still wanted to get high. That was the one thing I knew. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I, I never saw, I never thought I would go to prison ever. I was a good girl, a good student. My name is Layla, I'm 21 years old. I'm from Burley, Idaho. I started doing meth when I was 17. I regret lying to my family and my dad, and I regret pushing my family away from meth. It was the biggest mistake of my life, and I lost healthy relationships that I needed more than my relationship with my drug dealer boyfriend, who mentally and physically abused me anyways. I felt like I needed him around just because he provided the life I thought I needed, the money, the drugs. I thought I was set, but I wasn't. It was a very sad life. I lied. That, that was my life, a lie. Meth isn't the answer to what you're looking for. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. Yeah, after I got out of jail, everything was catching up with me. And I just kept using meth. And that seemed like the only way out of it was to end it. I ended up hanging myself couple months back. My name is Andrew. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Paulson, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 16. My dad found me and uh, I guess he cut the rope and I just remember waking up seeing him and my mom crying. They were devastated when they're seeing their baby boy just hanging from a tree, lifeless, with his tongue hanging out of his mouth. I just remember waking up and just being pissed off that I was still alive because I knew that I'd have to go back to using again. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. 
I was pregnant and I, I didn't know, so I was still doing meth and everything. And by the time I found out, it was too far gone and I had a miscarriage. My name is Lilix. I am 17 years old. I am from Kalispell, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 13. The first time I did meth was with my mom. Me and her started making a meth lab because we thought it was a good way to make some money. Meth tore my family apart. It's like my mom lost all her kids. I ended up in prison. I just, it made me a totally different person to what I used to be. I used to be this loving, caring, loved her family, all that kind of stuff. And when I was doing meth, I hated my family. I lost my friend's trust because I stole from them all the time. Lost my education. It's like, it just messed up my life completely. I lost everybody that was important to me. So I thought, like, oh, I'm different from everybody else. I can do this and get away with it. I had no idea meth would do that to me. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. You just, you pick yourself to death. There's paranoia that comes in. Um, you, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it. You just sit in the bathroom and the mirror with tweezers just digging at something that's not even there. And you just keep digging and digging and digging and you just eat your face up. It's, it's horrible. My name is Chauncey. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Chandler, Arizona. I started doing meth when I was 14 because of meth and because of the people that I hung out with and the world that revolves around it. I have herpes, I've had gonorrhea, I've had chlamydia, um, HPV, um, hepatitis C. There's more than just an addiction when it comes to diseases with using meth. The people, it's just it's a dirty world. Brought to you by the Arizona Meth Project. Me and my brother were walking down a trail and we were both smoking some meth. He said something to me and it set me off. And I picked up a tree limb and I started hitting him with it. Busted his head open and I think it broke one or two of his ribs, broke his nose. I didn't think nothing about it. I just left him laying there. I turned into a horrible person, I guess. You know? My name is Devin. I started doing meth when I was 10 years old. Meth affected my friendship with him uh, pretty bad. He won't talk to me anymore. Me and my brothers don't talk. Me and my parents don't talk. Well, my family won't have anything to do with me. I didn't know at all that it was gonna be as destructive as it was. I, no one gave me any kind of warning. <laughs> I wish that they had. But uh, after you start, there's just no stopping. You'll do anything. It's a real powerful drug. Brought to you by The Meth Project. Whenever you're a meth addict, you'll do anything to get the high. I, I would have sex for drugs or whatever I could get money for, and I'd sell it and buy meth with it. My name is Shauna. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Glensbury, Idaho, and I started doing meth when I was 13. One night, I remember my boyfriend had sold me for meth, and, and I didn't really do anything to stop it. Like, I said no, but he had sold me to, like, seven other guys and her. there wasn't really much I could do. Sometimes like I'd get paralyzed and like feel like I couldn't move. And that night like I really, I was like in reality, but I was like out of reality and he was just telling me he didn't really care about me. Any future plans that you want, you're never gonna achieve them. That's certain if you're on meth. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. I got stabbed twice. I woke up in the hospital, and then as soon as I got out, with the stitches not even healed, I walked right back to the streets and started using ice. My name is Lucius. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Lanikai, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 12 years old. It said, like, ice makes you feel like you're a Superman. We well, you ain't no Superman. I seen somebody break out of cuffs on ice, wake up the next morning and his wrist is all busted. Couldn't even close his hand. Seen somebody run head first into a window, trying to bust a car door window and steal stuff. It didn't work out too well. Seen people try to take on cops and get tased till their eyes roll back and they're just down. And some people say ice calms you down and makes your problems go away. It only makes it worse. It makes it way worse than it already is. Cause you're trying to solve a problem by starting another problem. And that's only gonna end up to be a bigger problem than it already was. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. 
I've damaged myself so bad because of my past ice use. I just kept passing out again, waking up for a few seconds, passing out again. I woke up and my mom was there and I was done getting my stomach pumped. The tube was still in my mouth, it was breathing for me and there was like all the monitors connected to me and I didn't remember what happened, I didn't know what was going on. My name is Hannah, I'm 19 years old, I'm from Manoa, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 12. Because of ice, I would wake up in the middle of the night screaming and my two little brothers were waking me up like, are you okay? My mom said, I can't let you do this in my house. I can't let you do this in front of them anymore. I can't let you ruin our lives. I put my mom through so much stress and I know that I treated her so badly. Because of ice, I will forever be consumed with guilt and there's nothing that I can do to fix all the things that I've done to her, nothing. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. I think the worst thing I did on ice was where I was about to rob someone and I thought it was a guy. And when we started beating her up, it was a lady. And I, I didn't notice until like her face was all bloody. And I think like I broke her arm and stuff. My name is Brandon. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Ever Beach, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 13 years old. And I thought, yeah, I could only do it once, but when I tried it, it just hooked me. I had to smoke more to get high. I realized I was addicted to ice when I couldn't get out of bed until I had a hit of ice, or I couldn't go through the day feeling regular without a hit of ice. Everything started falling apart. I started not going to school, running away from home, stealing money. I lost trust from my family because I would steal money from them without them knowing. My parents and my brothers and sisters would all hide their money, all their bags and all their values away from me. I actually feel like I regret everything. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. My, my sister didn't do meth, and I got her into using it. And I don't know, I just kind of brought her down, and now my sister's pregnant, and she can't quit smoking, and it's really, really bad. She's like seven, eight months pregnant, and she's really tiny still. My name is Kara. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Missoula, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 11. Like, I lived with them, so then my sister was like, mm, I'll try it, I guess. And then we started doing it every single day. I didn't think it'd have that big effect. I'm like, hey, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm doing it myself, you know? How could me smoking meth hurt that person? You know, they're not smoking it, they're not doing it, but it does. And my niece is a meth baby. My niece is only a year and five months old. I don't know, I didn't care if I hurt anybody along the way. I just did what I wanted to do at the time. And it's just, I know I feel really, really bad. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I feel ashamed a lot of times about my behavior. When I was on meth, I didn't care who I affected. The worst things I did was be my girl when she was pregnant. My name is Mike. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Great Falls, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 14. I was high one time, and she came home from work, and she was telling me uh, why was I high. And I told her I didn't want to hear, and she kept on going on. So I got and slapped her. I just kept on slapping her. And then I, I just left. And I know that there's scars that are, that'll never be healed because of my use and how I've abused her and stuff. Looking back on all the things I did on meth, really regretful, ashamed of myself. Don't really feel like I deserve to be here anymore. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I got raided in a hotel room and arrested for possession. And it was either I get my act together or I would never see my family again. My name is Lena. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Nanakuli, Hawaii. And I started doing meth when I was 15 years old. This is when I first heard of ice. I thought it was disgusting. But I thought, you, you can't fit in unless you do ice. And then I got addicted to it, and I didn't really care if I was loved or not. I just needed a drug. I would run away from home, or I would, like, trade my jewelry just to get high. And I got raped because of ice. I regret taking my first hit. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. 
when you're doing ice, everything's fast, everything's going like 500 miles per hour. And all you think about is getting high and then I started doing things I normally wouldn't do. I would have sex with my dealer for money. I would have sex with guys for money. I lost myself completely in one month. Like it was so fast. My name is Gloria. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Lahaina, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 14 years old. I lost a friend that hung himself because of it, because he couldn't handle hearing all the voices he heard. My friends are selling their bodies. They're in jail. Two of them are dead, and they're not going anywhere. They're hurting their families and hurting themselves. You go to a dead end. There's no future with ice. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. One of my really good friends, she passed away now because of methamphetamines. She was a straight-A student, going to school, getting ready to go to uh, college and whatnot. And me and her boyfriend, Brian, got her, got her hooked on uh, using methamphetamines. My name is Matt. I'm 20 years old. I started doing meth when I was 14. She got hooked right off the bat. She dropped out of school. She uh, quit her job, um, stole from her family in order to, to get high and to get me and my friends high. I guess she was... Uh, she was driving and I guess she overdosed there, started shaking and whatever, and, and the semi truck hit her and the car caught on fire. My friend got out before he realized that she was, wasn't was out. It was too late, you know? So just think about back on the whole story. And she didn't even want, you know what I mean? She didn't even want to get high and we kind of peer pressured her into it. Uh, you know what I mean? That's not really words that can explain the way that I feel. Brought to you by the Meth Project. Uh, the lowest point for me would be sitting at my apartment knowing that I'm going to prison and uh, thinking about killing myself and my girlfriend walking in. My name is Joe. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Whitefish, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 13. I was going to shoot a bunch of drugs and then shoot myself in my apartment because I was so high on meth and the thought of coming down and going to prison was too, was too much. There's nothing like it. There's absolutely nothing like meth. There's nothing as horrible as meth. Maybe it's the sleep deprivation that goes along with it. Maybe it's the, the chemical compound of the, of the methamphetamine. Whatever it is, it's, it's dangerous. And I don't really know anybody that's a casual meth user. I don't know anybody that leads a productive, healthy, happy life that is a meth addict. You're really not in control of, what, of what's going on. I'm sorry for, for ever using, but you can't ever change that it happened. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. Now that I'm off of meth, um, the thing I'm most ashamed about is shooting up my girlfriend so I could have all control. He treated me like I was a piece of property instead of a person. My name is Caitlin, I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Kalispell, Montana. My name is Matthew, I'm 20 years old. I'm from Kalispell, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 16. When he was in his addiction, that's all I wanted. I partner off on the, the drug dealers. I say, come on, baby, we need to get a high. You're my only option. Oh, we were fighting all the time, constantly, over money, over not having the next fix. I put her down. I call her names. I've smacked her before. I told her she's worthless, and I don't even care. That drug is strong, and it takes everything from somebody. Before I used meth, the things that I said I'd never do, and now I've done, and I have to live with them. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I was really high and paranoid, and I remember stealing from this old, old guy. And my friend slammed him with the knife in his face, and the guy got knocked out, and we stole all his money and all of the things from his house, and we drove away, and I stayed high for like a month straight. My name is Gloria. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Lahaina, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 14. Just like pushed everyone that loved me away. And then from then on, it just went, everything just went downhill in my life. The only thing I thought about was just smoking more and smoking more and getting high. Because at the time, the only thing I loved was ice. I regret everything I did when I was high because none of it was good. None of it benefited me in any way. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. 
My older friend took me to her drug dealer's house and we were smoking ice and I ended up stealing from him. My friend told me that he was searching for me high and low. He was leaving her voicemail that I better watch my back and if he sees me, he's gonna cut my throat. And I was scared, I was honestly scared. My name is Hoku, I am 16 years old. I am from Kohala, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 12. My family started losing trust in me. I started stealing money from them. Like I even one time stole my um, mom's grocery money. We didn't have food for months and my little brother either. Now I know, now I know what this drug has done to me. It made me lose friends. It made like me separate from my family. I didn't care about myself. I didn't care about anything. Like this drug, it destroys lives. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. This guy that we knew, he, okay, we gave him some meth and he went to shoot it up. And we, he died. We left his house and a few weeks later we found out that that killed him. Like he was up in his room and his dad went up there and he was dead. My name is Bob. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Butte, Montana. I started doing meth when I was nine. And I, I regret when I was on meth, giving it to little kids, like 12 year olds and stuff, selling it to them. I regret like helping cook it. My little brother sees it, like when I'm doing it, he sees it sometimes and I think he doesn't know what it is, but I think he thinks it's like a cool thing to do and gotta be grown up to do it. I'd tell him how bad it is and tell him it really ain't that cool and just try to explain to him that it's not fun, that it'll ruin his life. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I was actually with some people who were making it the very first time I ever tried meth and that was really scary because like the one guy's, all his teeth were falling out and his face was like rotting off. Meth is like, oh, it's sick, it's really sick. My name is Katie. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Billings, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 14. There was this guy that I knew and basically he had a lot of money, so I used him. You know, I sold him drugs and um, I started him shooting up. I shot him up for the first time and he had a family and um, he just got so strung out and I was like feeding him drugs every day and he was spending more time with me than he was with his own kids and his wife, you know, and I basically did it to him because I wanted him to get strung out, you know, because I wanted him to be addicted to my drugs so that I could make money off him. Um, I feel really guilty about that time in my life. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. I had a reputation of being an ice head, and then after I started selling my body for drugs, that became a bigger part of my reputation. My name is Jessica, I'm 17 years old. I'm from Kalua Kona, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 13 years old. I just hurt myself by giving myself to the guys just for the drug, even if it wasn't a lot. I never thought I would do that. I always despised girls who were like that. But later on, I became one of them. I, yeah, I chose, I chose other guys and other people over my family. And at first, I, I really thought that it was because I cared for this person, but I didn't care about them. I don't really, I don't like them at all. It's just because I wanted to get high. And I know they felt the same way because everyone is the same when they're on ice. There's, I don't know, it wasn't love. It was just, it was nothing. <laughs> it was just drugs. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. And I couldn't sleep because I was just high all the time. I was coming down from meth. And uh, my dad, he came out and he asked me why I was late and uh, I hit him with a baseball bat. My name is Scott, I'm 17 years old. I'm from Twin Falls, Idaho. And I started using meth when I was 13. He went to the hospital. And uh, I didn't even realize I did it until the next morning. I can't believe like I treated my, you know, my father like that, you know. When I was on meth, I didn't care about what anybody wanted. I didn't care about how my mom was. I didn't care about how my family was. It was just all about me. I just didn't want anything to get in my in my path, you know, to try and prevent me from getting some meth. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. The 
The first time I tried meth was with the guy I started dating, and he just asked me if I wanted to try it, and I said, yeah. I think the meth was more powerful than me. I was powerless when it came to the meth. My name is Brittany. I am 20 years old. I started doing meth when I was 19. I got to the point where I didn't want to take care of myself. I ended up having to move out of my house because I couldn't pay my bills. Um, I did get suicidal a couple times. I tried to hang myself. I tied a wire rope around a branch and I jumped off the thing and the rope broke. And I just laid there and I just cried. When I was doing meth, and I just figured there was nothing else out there for me anymore and that I'd already lost everything and I was a drug addict. I might as well end my life because I'm not worth anything to anybody. Brought to you by The Meth Project. One day I ran into my mom in Waikiki and she didn't recognize me at first just because I was so messed up on ice. I had to explain to her who I was before she actually caught on. That was the first time I seen my mom cry in a really long time. Her crying in my arms made me feel like I was the worst person in the world. My name is Anu. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Honokawa, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 13. At the beginning, I was stealing from family and from friends. Nothing else mattered but using meth and staying high. My mom lost trust in me and stopped calling. I would try to call her and she wouldn't call back. When I did visit the family and stuff, they wouldn't want to talk to me or see me. I didn't think about the consequences or how bad it was hurting me or my family and stuff. I just wanted to get high. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. It was probably after I moved back up here and started using meth regularly. Me and a couple friends of mine went up to rob somebody. He ended up getting shot. My name is Nick, I'm 20 years old. I'm from Dillon, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 14. We walked in to the apartment and he had a safe open with drugs and money in it. My friend pulled out a gun and said, either you can give us this or we're gonna take it. The guy jumped up and my buddy pulled the trigger and the guy was shot. We didn't call 911. I was just too high to even care about anything or anyone. I knew it was bad when I was doing it. But at the time, all I was thinking about was myself, how I was gonna get high. Coming down and not having it was just the worst thing. That drug is, you know, the devil. You just, you can't control it no matter what you think. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project. You lose sight of your hopes and dreams. You lose all your morals and values. You don't care about anything except for getting the drug. This addiction changes you completely. My name is Anna, I'm 17 years old, and I started doing meth when I was 12. I have a lot of regrets because of using methamphetamine. One of my biggest ones is not graduating high school. You get wrapped up in it so quick that it's like you're constantly in life with blinders on and you don't realize the damage that you're creating or that you're even supposed to be growing up in learning to have a job and all that stuff until one day you wake up and you're, you've missed it all, school dances, proms, um, getting your driver's license, getting your first apartment. I mean, going to college, you've missed all that stuff. I, I was curious and that curiosity just turned into an addiction quick. Brought to you by the Colorado Meth Project. After the first use of meth, it was probably three hours before I was like, Whatever that was, I need some more of it. And then it, it went from that one time to using every day, every night. I knew I was addicted the first My time. name is Katie. I'm from Gainesville, Georgia. I started doing meth when I was 16. I would steal from my parents. I would like, wait till they would leave, and I knew the uh, alarm system code, so I would break in and take money. I would steal from my grandparents. Anyone that was around me, I would take their checkbook, I would take their money, I would take anything I could get my hands on. I went to jail for a forgery for a financial card transaction fraud for theft by receiving stolen property, for burglary. You know, I, I did, I robbed so many houses, I don't even know which one I went to jail for. I was stealing to support my habit and eventually it all caught up with me. The meth affected every relationship I had. My friends were no longer my friends because I stole from everyone that I was around. I didn't realize how valuable those relationships were to me. Brought to you by the Georgia Meth Project. 
I was running from the cops when I jumped out of my friend's car. He was running with me and we were about to split up, but he was scared, you know, so we tried to stick together and I looked back and the cops were right behind us and I tripped him so he would get caught and I could get away. My name is Tim, I'm 20 years old. I started doing meth when I was 17. Meth basically made me into a criminal. You know, I was a very nice guy. I got along with everyone and when I started doing meth, I just started thinking of any way possible to get something and I'd do it. I've taken my parents' credit card and withdrew money from it, stolen from kids, pawning stuff I had, things that really meant a lot to me, but I pawned them just to get the money to buy the meth. You know, whether it hurt me, hurt someone else, hurt my family, I didn't care at all. Brought to you by The Meth Project. I went over to a house to sell meth and they had kids. And I remember it being one of the dirtiest houses that I've ever been to. I mean, to where their electricity is turned off because they haven't paid their bills. The sewage is backed up, ashtrays everywhere, dirty spoons from meth laying all over. My name is Holly, I'm 21 years old. I'm from Eagle, Idaho. I started using meth when I was 13. They were, they were dope sick. When you come to that point where you haven't had meth for a while, your body hurts and you just want to scream because it is hell. So I went to their house and to give them some and they locked their kids in the bathroom because they were screaming and crying. They were consumed with their high. So I sold them some drugs and I left. I came back two days later and their kids were still in the bathroom. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. The paranoia, the shadow people. You start seeing random shadows thinking that people are following you. You're in a house, you think everyone's out to get you, even though they're supposed to be your friends, you think. You think, if, you think everybody just hates you, basically. My name is Alan. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. I started doing meth when I was 16 years old. One thing I do a lot of is steal from my family. That was probably the probably the most hurtful. I take everything that they liked and I would go and trade them for drugs or I'd go to a pawn shop and pawn them off just for just maybe 20, 30 bucks just to get high. My morals were pretty messed up at the time. All my reservations were gone. I said I'd never steal from my family. I would never steal from a random individual. I've done all those. I had to get to that point to where I lost everything. Family gave up on me. Pretty much had nobody but myself, which I did to myself, so. Brought to you by the Arizona Meth Project. I knew I had hit rock bottom when I started shooting up. That was my lowest point because I just was like totally out of it. I wasn't even there no more. I was just gone. My name is Tanya. I am 15 years old. I am from Douglas, Arizona. I started using meth when I was 12. Basically, my life was totally destroyed. I mean, I had ran away from home, and so I didn't have nowhere to go. I wore the same clothes every day. Like, I only showered like maybe twice a week. I didn't have nothing left. I mean, nothing at all. I didn't even have no shoes on my feet. I thought I knew everything. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna get addicted to this drug. It's not gonna hurt me at all. I can control myself. But in the long run, it, you know, I couldn't control it. It's like meth, can, you know, controlled me. Brought to you by the Arizona Meth Project. I've had a couple of friends that asked me about ice and I just passed the pipe to them. Oh, here you go. This is how you do it. Or I would light it for them. Then they got addicted and some of them, I don't even know if they're still alive. My name is Kaimi Lani. I am 17 years old. I'm from Waipahu, Hawaii, and I started doing meth when I was 15 years old. Using ice, I had nowhere to turn, no one to talk to. I was by myself with nothing. I was badly addicted, and I started selling personal belongings for ice. You need it every second. When you're out of it, you're gonna find a way to get more. And Everything just started disappearing for me. I lost my friends, my family, everything. They don't want to talk to me because I do ice, because they don't know who I am anymore. They don't know what to do with me. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. 
When I first started smoking, I really got addicted to it, and I needed it every day. So the ice made me feel like it was my home, my family, my friends, everything. It was like a part of me. My name is Josh. I am 17 years old. I'm from Kali, Hawaii. I started doing meth when I was 16. My friend pulled up in his car, and right there we started smoking. We got high. He said, are you sure you want to rob a house? I was like, whatever it takes to get money, I need money. I need it now. Whatever it takes, I'll do it. And then we went to this house, broke the windows. We jumped through, searched the house, flipped everything, took laptops, just computers, valuable stuff that we could sell to get money. For me, I said I was never going to smoke ice. Then my first time trying it, I was like, yeah, I'm only going to smoke with my friends. Next thing I know it, I was living with my friend. Next thing I know it, I was homeless. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. I would get girls high, and then I'd get them to do sexual stuff with me. And that I knew if I had the bag in my pocket, they would be right there because they wanted to get high. My name is Thomas. I'm 21 years old. I started doing meth when I was 12. Yeah, I started um, on my girlfriend. Um, I started her on meth. I was selling at the time, and I wanted her to start using so I can use because she didn't want me to use at the time. So I got her drunk, and then I told her, uh, here, try this. This will sober you up. So she tried it. And then I was like, see, you like that, don't you? I was like, why don't you let me do it? Let's just try some more. Here you go. And so that's how I got her started. I regret taking advantage of people and I'm ashamed about just the life I lived. Brought to you by The Meth Project. I think I was up for like four or five weeks and I would black out and I'd wake up in somebody's yard or I'd wake up behind the truck or something. And first thing in my mind was not, what was I doing? How did I end up here? It's worse than more meth. Destroyed my life, destroyed everything for me. Pure chaos. I didn't even like myself. I didn't. My name is James. I'm from Miles City, Montana. I started doing meth when I was 17. Uh, it just makes you think everybody's out to get you. Anything that you think uh, becomes a reality. So if you think there's 80 people outside watching you, there's 80 people outside watching you. And I just hated the fact that I couldn't separate reality from, you know, fiction. It just, I couldn't, do, I couldn't stop it. When I finally realized that I needed to quit, I weighed 97 pounds. I wish I would have never touched that stuff. What do you know about meth? To get the full story, ask at methproject.org. I had sex with guys for, for money. I had sex with guys for meth. I'd do anything to get drugs. I could pretty much sell any part of my body and it'd be okay if I got high later that night. My name is Zelda. I'm 16 years old. I started doing meth when I was 13. Thinking back, it makes me feel, I don't know, it makes me feel like trash. Like I, I wasn't my own person. I knew I didn't love myself and I knew I didn't care about myself. So I'd like, I'd do anything they wanted. I was like, okay, I'll give you this if, if you give me a sack. I'll give you this if you give me the next fix, you know? Like, it wasn't about loving myself. It wasn't about liking the guy. It was just about the drugs. Brought to you by The Meth Project. I told myself I would, I would kill myself if I ever, ever shot at meth because I didn't want to be a junkie. I didn't want to be like everybody else because even though I knew I was smoking meth, I gave myself an excuse because I was just smoking it. I wasn't shooting it. But then I led myself to, I'll shoot it just one time. My name is Abigail. I am 16 years old. I'm from Jerome, Idaho, and I started doing meth when I was 13. All the time, it ended up for me. Like I said, I gave myself the excuse, I'll only smoke it one time. Then I went to shooting up, I'll only shoot it up one time. And I just led, it led excuses. I don't think that people can just do it one time and say I'm done because it pulls you in. There's something about methamphetamine that grabs onto your soul and it takes you on a ride that never ends because of meth. I did things too fast, but I really missed out on growing up and I can't take that back. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. 
I really don't remember that far back, but I remembered when I progressed in my meth use, it was almost every day, all day long. Never stopped, never quit, was always looking for more. My name is Courtney. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Spirit Lake, Idaho. I started doing meth at 13. Actually, a week after I first did it, um, I had smoked about almost half a pound within a week. And I ended up losing my virginity because I was so high and I was so out of it. I passed out and I kept waking up, passing out, waking up. And um, I woke up and my friend had told me, you slept with someone. I kind of looked at her like she was crazy. I was um, almost 14 and I lost something that was sacred to me. Brought to you by the Idaho Meth Project. Because of ice, I went suicidal once. I went into my room, I took a rope and then tied it around my head and I just was hanging. I kicked the stool and my girlfriend walked in when I was all purple and she took me down. My name is Pekelo. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Wailuku, Hawaii. I started doing math when I was 12. Because of ice, my body was totally dehydrated. I went into convulsions. The um, paramedics had to shove tubes down my walk to get liquids into my body. I hurt a lot of people. Most of the friends that I hanged out with, they used to smoke ice too, or if they didn't smoke it, then I usually gave them their first hit. Now I feel really bad because most of them are addicted to it and I lost like good friends. That one hit really changes your life. Brought to you by the Hawaii Meth Project. The first time I had a gun put to my head, I was scared. I just kind of froze, I went into shock and I didn't really know what to do. My name is Jeff, I am 18 years old. I started doing meth when I was 14. I had a ball of meth in my hand and the guy told me to either pay him or give the meth back and I didn't want to give the meth back. I was like ready to put my life on the line for that meth. Eventually I went into tears and I was begging him, I need this, like I need this. Like you can't take this from me, I need this. I promise I'll pay, I promise, I swear. He didn't believe me. So I jumped up and started running and I just panicked and I, I left, I left my friend and my friend got shot. Brought to you by The Meth Project. Within like the first three months that I had done it, I was stealing from my mom, I was lying to people I really loved and all I thought about was meth and I, all I talked about was meth. All I dreamt about was meth, like it's all I wanted. It had taken me over really fast. My name is Josie, I'm 20 years old. I'm from Billings, Montana, and I started doing meth when I was 14. I can't believe that I let meth control my life so greatly. I wish I knew what I knew now, back then. And I am in prison right now, and when I get out, I will be a woman. I will be an adult. And my entire adolescent childhood was involved in criminal behavior and doing meth and being an addict, in and out of jail, in and out of psychiatric hospitals. I just lost this big, you know, chapter in my life that I'm never gonna get back. Brought to you by the Montana Meth Project.